In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove rust. I'm going to try to remove some rust on this bumper, and I've got some different tools and some different items that I'm going to test this on. And what I'm using is this metal rescue uh, gel. All right, so let's give this a shot and see how it works. The first thing uh, you want to do is just kind of clean your area. You don't want any uh, dirt, wax, things like that on there, grease. And then all you need is a brush, brush to apply it. So we're going to pull this off. And this is just a gel. They also have this that comes in the liquid where you can soak things. But, you know, you couldn't really soak a bumper in something like that. So that's where this works a lot better on your bigger items. But you want to put it on kind of thick, about an eighth inch. And I'm just going to do a small area here. You can see, and the problem with this rust, you can see how it kind of pits into the metal. So I'll put that on there. We'll put it pretty thick just in this spot. See how well it works. Uh, this is my first time to use this specific product, so... We're testing it out. And the other thing that's very important to do is uh, it says use saran wrap. I didn't have any. But I'm just going to use some, uh, some uh, grocery bags like this. And what this is doing is you're just keeping the surface wet. And uh, you want to keep it wet for, I think, like 30 to 60 minutes. We'll probably let this set an hour and then come back and check it. But you want that to set on there just to keep it from... Uh, drying on its own. I'm just going to set a rock on that one because wind's blowing a little bit out here. And I've also got these, uh, this here got out and you can see how bad that really got rusted. So I'm going to spread this open and thing. Another thing about it, it's safe for metal or if you're using it around a painted area, it's safe or plastic. So it's not going to discolor your paint or anything like that. So you're pretty safe if you get a little bit on your other parts. So I'm just going to coat this really good. So that's about an eighth inch, but boy, it'd be hard to really get that much on there. We'll get, get it on there really thick. Okay. Now I've just got another bag here, and I'm just going to stick it in this bag and wrap it up. And we'll set that in there with them. And I had just a couple more items I was going to try this on. I've got a dolly that got wet and got really rusted. It's pitted. And also got just a bolt here. So we'll give it a try on these items. There for now. So just spreading that all over that. And wrap this up. Put that in there. Then we've got this, then we've got this one bolt that we'll try. Just wrap it up in here too. Okay, so it says to wait. I think. Uh, let me look on here to make sure. Okay, so it says to apply it and allow it to set for 30 to 90 minutes. If it's real heavy, 12 to 24 hours. Okay, we'll let this set, see if it does its work, and we will see in one hour. Okay, and I am back. It's been about an hour, so we're going to check the results and see how this worked. Okay, let's see. You can tell but just by looking at this that that did get a lot of that rust off. You can see it transferred to the plastic there. And this one was pretty bad. And it did say if it doesn't take it all off the first time, you can repeat this process. Let's see what it looks like. 
Well, it did pretty good. Need to use that thread wizard on that to clean those threads. I'd probably clean that up real good. But you can see, it worked. Let's check on some of these other things. Now this had, this had pretty heavy rust. Let's see what it did to these. Now you're just supposed to wipe it clean and use a damp cloth. But that cleaned those up pretty good. This is one of those things that may could use a second time. But yeah, it looks like it got rid of most of the rust. Give you a close up of that. Okay, now let's see what it did to the bumper. Oh, I forgot about the dolly. Yeah, let's check it out. And it appears to have done a pretty good job on that too. Okay, now let's check the bumper. Yeah, you can see it loosened a lot of that up. Yeah, and that looks a lot better where this was applied, so this stuff does work pretty good. And for these type of things, I mean, we're not going to be painting the inside of a bumper or a dolly, uh, you know, tools, things like that to, to protect them. They have a spray that's supposed to help keep these. It's a dry coat, and you just spray that on there. And that'll dry, and it's supposed to protect uh, metal for up to a year. So we'll just spray this stuff. Just let it dry. Now, if you're going to spray this on a car, like a, a outside of a fender or something that you're going to be painting, you know, you'd do what you normally would do. You know, put your, probably your epoxy or you know, go through those steps. Uh, you wouldn't need to use this dry coat. This is just for something that's going to be metal and it's not going to be painted or coated to be protected. So if you was doing that to a car, you'd clean it off real good and then you'd come back and put your your primer and your paint, you know, like you normally would. This appeared to work really good. I know the POR15, I've used those products. They work good. And if you're not able to uh, have them blasted, you know, this is probably the second best thing. And let's hear from you. Have you used one of these products? I mean, this is the work, Workshop Hero line. Uh, I know there's some other ones out there. I know that like the POR15, you know, good. Uh, what have you used that works good? You know, let us know. Uh, what's your best method, best products? Have you used this one? And what did you think about it? And that, my friends, is how you use this metal rescue gel for removing rust. Well, I'll give this product a thumbs up. If you like this video, be sure and give me a thumbs up. Uh, be sure and subscribe to this channel. And uh, remember to hit that bell notification so when I have new videos, you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. Thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.